Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions, you would like your own reading, you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information that you might require may be contact, list of readings, Everything is right there into the YouTube description box. If you do wish to contact me, it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Um, so please do not hesitate. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always and greatly appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. So this is all about what is the universe trying to tell you? Let's go find out. I have four message here. As usual, you take what's good, you leave what's not. Let's continue. So we're going to be speaking here with the King of Swords. We also have the Eight of Wands, followed by the Five of Wands. And we also have a Page of Cups. So let's begin this with nonetheless the King, the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, this is all about you dominating your problems. The King of Swords really does personify unwavering but determination and that willpower. Like him, you need to take the firm command of the situation that's at hand right now. It's really important that choices must be made that are going to require clear and quite objective analysis on your behalf. You need to be sure to investigate your options and to develop a sound strategy to solve your dilemmas right now. You need to think logically and you need to set your emotions aside. And I know that's not easy. You need to try and set your emotions aside. Although such calculated decisions, they may see callous, but you must know that they are ultimately in the best interest of every single person involved. This is about remaining steadfast and holding true to your own personal values. Okay, don't forget, if you remember anything out of what I said out of this card, you need to dominate your problems. Okay, and be careful with your emotions. Moving on to the Eight of Wands. This is a lot of work over here, as we can see. We're cutting down these wands, or we're trying to cut down these wrongs. Now, the Eight of Wands is illustrating a moment in your life where you may be acting in haste. This could be because maybe you're anxious. Maybe you're anxious. Maybe you're, it could be anxious in all different kind of spheres of your life. Maybe it's to start a new project, or maybe you wish to get something unpleasant over with, but as quickly as possible. Regardless of your situation right now, you may want to just stop. You may want to reconsider your current course of action. So it's really important that you do not do something that you might regret right now. You need to be sure to get all of the facts before making an important decision. Now, in this card here, the wheat field, I'm going to show it to you a little bit closer. I'm not sure that you can see it all that well. Okay, so the wheat field here represents one's fertile mind. The wands, well, they symbolize unwelcome thoughts or emotions that keep popping up despite attempts to wipe them out. And this is why you're trying to cut them off here. So do not despair. New insights are going to come to change your perception of this growing problem, but for the better. Now the Eight of Wands might also signify the urgency to eliminate any bad habits that you might have. It is time to be strong. It is time for you to start taking control of your life. Do not hesitate. Don't let anything prevent you from slashing your negative behaviors down to size. Finally, I have to say that the Eight of Wands here could be a symbolic expression of hate and anger. So you do need to beware this woman here's formidable energy is poised to destroy something out of spite, out of jealousy, and out of envy. Hopefully, this will not be you.
Now we're going to move on over to the Five of Wands. And now, the beautiful Five of Wands it represents a period of disharmony. As we can see, I'm going to show it to you a little bit closer. I don't know if you can see it all that well. There's a lot of fighting here, okay? Uh, this is a period of disharmony. It's a period of friction between groups or be between people. It could be your love relationship. It could be a uh, family. So there's some disharmony in your surroundings in your life right now. And this is showed with this card here. Um, this is about rational thought that is going to give way to insanity as opposing to forces struggles to come out on top. This could be about legal disputes. Uh, it could be a hostile clash with neighbors or fights over scarce resources. There are all some ways to interpret the unruly uh, message coming from this um, from this card. In severe cases, it might foretell of anarchy, uh, riding in the streets, mutiny against authority, but that is really way down. I'm not seeing this for you, okay? This is really for what is going on around you right now. It could be your relationship. Somebody around you are having some disharmony. It could be work-related also. Um... Now, uh, this could also refer to a fierce competition with ruthless players who will do anything to win a valuable prize, even if it means uh, harming an opponent. Or um, it could also denote a situation where individuals vie for the attention of someone of the opposite sex. So this could be where this rivalry is coming from, where this competition, this ruthless competition. For some of you out there, maybe you're trying to uh, get the same person, the same partner. Um, so this is not for everybody, but that part of the meaning could be for you. You. Now, besides an external struggle, the Five of Wands could symbolize an internal conflict as well, contradicting needs, uh, desires, pulling your emotions apart. It's really about a chaotic state of mind, and you're going to find it hard to make a decision or to choose among all of the alternatives that you have. So this is really about finding out what is going on around you, what is that disharmony, and trying to make it better, to try to assess it, and then try and do something about it. And now we're going to conclude over here with the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups is a little bit more enthusiastic here, okay? After after the dilemmas, we're going to go to a little bit of uh, more positivity here. The lively Page of Cups is really about the enthusiastic energy that you need to take to go to a higher form of existence right now. You need to lose all inhibitions and designs at your life, but with outrageous creativity. You need to be confident in your individuality as you progress into your future. Newly planted beliefs are coming of age and they're ready to grow into mature philosophies. Let's put it that way, okay? You need to remember the importance of staying young at heart, being logical, okay? Keeping your awareness of everything that's going on around you. Um, however, do not be juvenile in your thinking if you truly wish to fulfill your ambitions. That is a warning. Um, you need to take heed of your intuition also. Listen to the whispers of your unconscious mind. For it is trying to communicate to you through abstract and symbolic references. Inspire, inspired ideas are going to abruptly materialize from unexpected sources and is going to bring you some priceless rewards, provided that you give them the attention that they deserve. So it is time for you to take the time to look deep within yourself in order to decipher their secret meanings. So, now you have some homework to do. That being said, this does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it resonated with you. I hope it helped you in some kind of way. If you do have any questions, you would like to contact me, you'd like a reading, everything, as I said, is right below into the YouTube descri uh, description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there, and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings.